um, the singer. Did you want to? Oh, okay, that Jason guy. Yeah, you know, I forgot I even added him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just sad that so many conservatives are happy with this. And they love songs like this, Jason Aldean, Small Town. Try that in the small town. And really, it's not BLM that's making your small town effed up. No, it's not. It's not anything that LeBron James said at that time in a press conference. Or <laughs> it's not Kyle Copper and they're taking the knee. That's, that's make, what's making your small town jacked up, son. It's the fentanyl. It's the cardiovascular disease that's killing you like earthquakes. It's the uh, self-inflicted gunshot wounds that you give yourselves. The bullet tattoos to the forehead when things ain't going right because the bills are closing in, got the walls closing in. Got the wolf at the door. No job opportunities. Only opportunity for your kids. Half your kids can't even go to college unless they can throw a football. Then they got to go join the military to go blow up blo brown and black people in poor places who did nothing to you and come back with PTSD and can barely get treatment. Mm -hmm. That's what's wrong with small town America. It's your sister strung out on that stuff, pumping it in her arm because... She got hooked because she was over-medicated by what? Your small-town doctor that intentionally wrote all those scripts to that opiate shit. See, that's what's wrong with small-town America. It's all the jobs that left under NAFTA under your boy Bill, Bill Clinton in the bushes as well. So we don't create nothing. There's no real manufacturing being done. It's all the... It's all the, uh, the all the farmers who were paid not to farm. That's what's wrong with your, with your small town, brother. See, but that ain't going to sell. Jason Aldean ain't going to go number one on iTunes if you tell, tell that truth that Tim Black's telling. But he can sleep at night. But see, that's the problem with conservatives America. They love platitudes. They love sweeping rhetoric. They love BS. They love lies. American patriotism, nationalism. We are number one without actually being number one in anything except mass incarceration, dropping bombs, and number of overdoses and, and shooting deaths. What are you number one in? <clears throat> like, so what are, you, what are you cheering at? Yay, we won. We won. We won. What? I don't understand what you're happy about. Life expectancy. Lowest has been since 1996. On the life expectancy chart, the United States is number 34. Not number one. That's beneath Czech Republic, Bermuda, Saudi Arabia, China, Costa Rica. Yeah, yeah, it's way down there. Way down there. And that's got nothing to do with Dylan Mulvaney being on a butt like him. Nothing at all. It's got nothing to do with trans, cross-dressers singing songs or reading stories. It's got nothing to do with diversity, equity, and inclusion. Mostly white women do that job anyway. You know that, right? But go ahead and cancel it. I'm, I'm, I'm glad for you to cancel it. Using black, people, using black people's names and likeness in order to give jobs to white women, a.k.a. affirmative action. But see, that's the problem. See, this is a problem I have with conservatives. They upset about stuff and they don't even know what's going on. So, yeah, go ahead and, you know, I'm not saying that Jason Aldean's song was racist on his face. I've seen the videos on TikTok. I know what people are saying, that the imagery was fabricated, that it was racist in nature. Okay, I get it. Here's the point. Here's the point. Here's the point. A lot of our music's jacked up. I don't like us policing music. But to get to the larger point, the larger point is this. The real problem in small town America, which you can't do in small town America, is tell the truth about the Republican Party. Or tell the truth about America. Because you don't want to hear it. That's the same problem we have with rural America. Not want to hear the truth about the Democratic Party. So all of America needs to listen. Be open to ideas that don't include these two major parties, and both of them are brought and paid for anyway. That's why I say it's important for you to open your head 
tune into this show because this show, I'm not going to tell you to be a Democrat. I'm not going to tell you to be a Republican. I'm going to tell you to be a thinker. I'm going to tell you to be a person that looks beneath the curtain, that sees what's going on behind there. Like, who's back there working those strings? Oh, corporate donors. Oh, that's who it is. Stop raising your kids to dying wars. They got nothing to do with it. Don't help this country at all. Just helps the people on top keep their money in their pockets. Wake up. As no, he doesn't want to tell the truth. He doesn't want to keep it real. What you going to do to some people if they come to your town? We know what you do. Same thing America's been doing for the last 300 years, lynching black people. We know what you do. That make you feel good to say that. It makes you feel good to imply that. You know what he's implying? That's what he's implying. Meanwhile, I couldn't get him to, to speak a, a mumbling word about the January 6th, about the cops that got their asses kicked by good old boys. Wouldn't say a damn word about that. That's not in the song. Because it wouldn't sell. In fact, the same people that are rooting for him buying his record, if he told the truth, they boycott him. They boycott him and counsel him and throw him out. Because they're hypocrites. So anyway, it is what it is. But it's just pathetic that we, you know, this is a condition, a situation that we're in. I don't blame, I, I, do, I do blame Jason for, for not being a better man. Could be a better man than this. This is, this is pointless. But nah, he's not the Antichrist. And nah, there was no racism in the video that I saw. And all this, you know, they just want to, I'm tired of the liberals and the Democrats trying to wind up black people on every little thing. We got enough to be really round up about, guys. We can be round up about the DeSantis shit. That's real. This guy's song, that's a song, first of all, it's entertainment, it's creativity, it's artist rendition of whatever was in their head. It's none of your business, really. It's under the the purview, outside the purview of your real, like your, you know, your butthurtedness. At least it should be. You know, we got bigger fish to fry than this guy's choice of a backdrop for a video. You know, he's not inciting violence any more than Snoop Dogg was when he had a depiction of Donald Trump being sh kidnapped or whatever, hit up as president. And I don't remember you doing a segment on The View at the time, Sonny. So, I like, look, I'm not trying to, like, what about ism? I'm just saying, like, I, I mean, I'm not going to be a part of your hypocrisy show. I mean, I'm not in your club, and I don't need to be in it. And I'm going to stay over here telling the truth. So it is what it is. Okay. I deserve a clap. <laughs> hey, but thank you. Ms. Absolutely. So where we go now, Mrs. Black? Anything left? <laughs> well, our next um, story is about Dan Snyder, <laughs> the former owner of the uh, Washington Commanders. Tim Black's The Black Table streams live Sundays, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Times on Facebook and YouTube. Be there, Wolfpack.